Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take alcohol out of Goa legally. So this is a question you guys have been messaging me and requesting for a long time. So I finally decided, okay, I'm going to do a video on it and tell you guys uh, how you can take it legally by flight, how to take it legally by car, bus, anyhow. So uh, if you're new to my channel, please do like and subscribe. Also, uh, if you've not seen my previous videos, and you want to know the price of alcohol in Goa or the latest prices for 2021. Uh, I have videos in Hindi and English also. You can click on the links in the comment section below. So guys, okay, we're going to start off with how we're going to take uh, alcohol legally. Uh, I'm also going to tell you the weight of the bottle. So when you're transporting it, you should technically know how heavy the bottle is. Suppose you're traveling by flight and you're going to have a difficult time. You know with the weight or how much of weight you should book in advance okay guys so something important to know is there are two states in india that do not allow alcohol to be taken to their states one is bihar and the second one is gujarat now unfortunately i know i have a lot of gujarati subscribers but i'm sorry guys you cannot take any alcohol from goa to gujarat on the flight so anyway let's go on to checking out the weight of the bottles so guys now i have my trusty scale here so i'm going to check on the weight so these again as i told you are 750 ml bottles so let's try out the fireball whiskey first so let's just look at this so this is 1.25 kilos okay so it's 1 kilo 250 grams so that is the fireball one let's check blender sprite so if we check blender sprite so blender sprite is 1.1 kilo 1.125 so 125 grams 1 kilo 125 grams then let's check legion now legion is 1 1 kilo 256 grams surprisingly this is quite heavy so now what happens is you know to fill in the weight you can also take in these mini bottles now mini bottles are very light and very easy because some of them are plastic bottles so for example this one is a plastic bottle so let's just check this so this is 60 grams guys and this is a 50 ml bottle so 60 ml bottle sorry this is a 60 ml bottle so you can carry a lot of alcohol if you're carrying mini bottles so technically you're taking five liters but you can take it in anyhow any bottles so look at this one this is 127 grams and this is a glass bottle guys so this is 127 grams we have like these smaller ones which is only 70 grams this is a jack daniels this is 60 grams but this is a 50 ml bottle so like that you have a lot of these minis you can take so fireball just came out with their new mini so if you want to try out fireball is a really nice brand this is a new brand that has come out legion also i'm going to be doing a video with uh my recommendations of what alcohol you should try and buy in goa so technique uh, you know look out for that one which is coming out next so you have all these bottles now this one is only 125 129 grams guys so these are the weights of the alcohol guys so guys the first way of bringing alcohol to other states like delhi bombay wherever you want to do take it uh, the first way is by flight guys now by taking it by flight you are allowed to take five liters of alcohol per person so technically a normal bottle like the one i just showed you these bottles are 750 ml most of the bottles in goa 750 ml or you could buy a two liter bottle now what happens is with the two liter bottles they are a little more difficult to manage i would recommend buying smaller bottles and you know it's more easy to pack it that way okay so five liters per person you do not require any permit at all uh, to take it by flight you all you have to do is just pack it in the baggage and take it now something very important to know is you cannot take a bottle that has been opened all the bottles have to be sealed so when you see that this thing the seal has to be intact before you take any alcohol from Goa. Now, uh, seal, sealed bag. Now, I recommend uh, 
how do I recommend packaging it? Now, whenever you are taking a package, always you can get bubble wrap. Now, bubble wrap is available at any stationery shop. Uh, see what happens is many people tell me uh, I have packed it in clothes and everything. But what happens is if you've seen in India the how they handle the you know bags. I'm not trying to say anything bad about the airlines, but sometimes you know they handle the bags and they're quite rough. And bottles tend to break. So like uh, last time my subscriber messaged me and then he was really sad that he had taken two bottles and what happened was both these bottles while they threw it it banged each other or something and his bottles broke in his bag spoiling his clothes and his alcohol of wasted his alcohol of course so definitely i would recommend to get bubble wrap uh, you do not require any permit to take alcohol on a flight guys so just pack it and take it now this is per person so you're a couple you can take 10 liters per person i mean 10 liters together uh, if you are uh, in a big family, you have like many people in your family, everyone gets to take 5-5 five, five liters. Of course, that is not sensible because uh, you will be having your other shopping, clothes, everything else. So guys, next way I'm going to tell you how to take by road. Now, the thing about taking by road, you guys have probably checked out many other websites. You must have checked out other YouTube videos and they say how you can take, uh, you know, a permit for two bottles. Now, technically, this is true, but what happens is there are these are not meant for all states like Maharashtra, Karnataka, and states like this are not really included on this list. Uh, if you go to the excise department's official list of uh, places you can get permit to take it for, these are the different lists, you know, the place where you can take like Daman, Diu, etc. But <laughs> this permit does not really work guys so what happens is the moment you cross the border in goa uh, you the excise department is going to stop your vehicle or however you're going by bus they come and check on the bus as well and you know they're going to check and they'll tell you they'll show you the board as well showing you that you cannot carry alcohol even though you have a permit so technically this permit business does not really work i don't know why but it is not meant for a few states because what happens the only states you're going to go out probably is Maharashtra or Karnataka and these states the permits don't really apply so what happens is you will have end up paying a fine or you know uh, something else you will have to pay and that's how you can get away with it uh, but technically you're not allowed to carry even though you have a permit you will probably be get you know, I mean you'll probably get caught so that is something you should know and this is taking at your own risk so the only really proper way i would recommend is going by flight but you can also take it by train now the thing about train also is the tcs come and check the bags now something i have to note you have to note is i've had a lot of subscribers who have gone across uh, who are couples now couples like a married couple in a car or whatever most of the times I've noticed is they do not check uh, these cars. Like even my family, we go, my family, four of us, Sharon, me, my mom and dad, sometimes we go to Maharashtra, whatever, but they never check our car, maybe because it's a Goa registration, but I've had lots of other subscribers also message me and say, you know, we were a couple and they did not uh, stop us. So most couples, they tend to let go, but of course, at your own risk, you might end up paying a fine or whatever. Even by train, you will end up paying a fine or whatever. So they might say they're going to confiscate that you might have to pay, you know. <laughs> so if you're Indian, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, so that is the only way, guys. The permit, again, I said is 20 rupees. So if you get lucky, take it and go. But otherwise, uh, my safest option I would recommend is by taking it by flight. You might pay a little more for the flight, but if you're taking a lot of alcohol with a big group of guys, then definitely take it by flight. It's going to be much easier for you guys. So guys, if you have any other questions or whatever, feel free to comment below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe.